All right, good morning, everybody. It is uh, starting to get daylight out here. Everything's starting to wake up and stir. So we're going to talk a little bit this morning about butt classification. You know, what do you consider to be a good one? To me, you know, a decent little buck. You know, if he's pushing 120, and now mind you, there's a difference between a 120 inch eight and 120 inch ten by far. But uh, if he starts pushing that 120 mark, you know, it's it's a decent little buck. You're getting up there in them 130s, especially the mid 130s, getting up there a little higher, well, that's a pretty good one. Uh, you get 140, start climbing, that's a good buck. And you get them upper 40s, and uh, especially pushing that 50 mark, you know, you got a stud on your hands. You may have a 135 inch eight. Now that's a pretty good eight. You know, I mean, he may that, that's considered a stud to me. You know, that's a stud eight point. Uh, he may be 15 inches wide and go that. That's, that, you know. What's a stud to you? What's a good buck to you? It doesn't matter to anybody else. Uh, you need to hunt the way that makes you happy. If pulling the trigger on a 115, that's your thing. You know, own it. Be happy with it. You know, there is nothing wrong with that. Don't let anybody ever tell you that there is. To me, I'm not a score guy. I know how to score. I know what my deer score, out of curiosity, that everybody always asks. But I'm not a guy that's going to pass one because of score. I like to hunt age. Uh, I like to beat the better chess player, and that's my thing. What's your thing? You know, every doe walks by, you got doe tags in your pocket, and that's what makes you happy. You need to be shooting them does, because that's what it's all about, getting out there and doing what you like to do. So anybody trying to tell you, you should have let that one walk, or you should have done this, or you should have done that, you tell them they need to hunt the way they want to hunt and let you hunt the way you want to hunt. Uh, that being said, we are just a few days out from season. Ten days to be exact. Uh, the countdown for single digits starts tomorrow. Excited about getting home, getting in the woods, and uh, you know, showing you all a few things there with some hands-on. We're kind of killing time at work this week. I've really enjoyed doing these and getting some feedback, You know, getting some text messages and some... Some messages from y'all, questions and answers, and you know your side, your opinion. And, you know, hey, I'm telling you, I, I'm open to all of it. You know, if, if you don't agree, it's up for discussion. We both may learn something. So, uh, Mark has been busy this week. He's running around trying to get things ready, and uh, you know you will be seeing a lot more of him. It's not just me. So, I do appreciate all the views. That's the kind of feedback we're looking for. I think we've got a couple out there that the number is getting pretty high on, and. Uh, you know, that's great. I will tell you this, you know, we, we're not that show from up the road that is going to tell you, you know, we killed a 130 whenever we really shot a 110. That ain't us. We're not here to impress. I can promise you, if I shoot a 110, it's because it's a 110 forking horn, and it needs to go. I mean, that's just the way it is. Uh, I'm not trigger happy, and I'm not knocking anybody that is. Trust me, like I said before, you need to hunt how it makes you happy. I just get tired of cleaning them. It really helps me hold off the trigger, so... If we, when we stick one, it will be worth sticking. I can promise you that. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I know some of you out there is probably talking. Uh, a lot of you out there know me. And, you know, you've been around, you know. There's a lot of you out there think that I'm a know-it-all and whatnot, and that's fine. But I promise I got something for you, and it's on its way. Coming the 15th. So anyway, not to be a, a smart aleck or anything, but, you know, if you're going to talk, I'm going to talk back. So... That's just the way it is. It's the way I work. Uh, I do appreciate every one of you supporting us. Uh, I do have plenty of hats. We're going to be selling a few to try to make up some of this money we're sinking into this thing. You know, we ain't going nowhere. I can promise you that. Uh, we've been talking about this for years. I've had the idea for the, the show or the page or whatever you want to call it, Chasing Tracks, since probably around 2010. I've talked to Mark about it for the last three or four years. And this is the year. You know, we weren't ready till now, and now we're ready. So, uh, do want to keep it local, support our local businesses, support our local people, and uh, be in the middle of this stuff with y'all. You know, we, we want y'all in there with us. So, uh, Josh Cullison, I'll get you your hat ASAP. So, as soon as I get home, or as soon as Mark makes a trip down to town again, uh, I'll get one in the truck headed your way. Not sure if you want it, but you got it. So, alright buddy, we'll catch up with you later, and thank y'all for watching. Have a good one.